Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So find the lowest point on this surface. Find the lowest point on this surface for this given constraint. So the constraint is this green line here and this green line here. No matter what, you have to live on those green lines. So, so they're given to you. And uh, if you look at, at this surface, the origin is somewhere around here. Uh, so this constraint this constraint looks something like this. Remember the constraint lives on the, the XY plane. Uh, so the constraint will look something like will look something like this and will look something like this. So you're looking for the lowest point. The lowest point hang on, let me change this. The lowest point uh, will occur somewhere around here and somewhere around here somewhere around here somewhere around here so your job is to find that location okay so press pause and have a go okay so to do this we need to turn our constraint into a function so let's turn this constraint into a function so let's just imagine it as uh, as this function so if, if you look at this function here when it spits out hang on if you look at this function here when it spits out a value of zero, it is in effect describing the constraint which lives on the xy plane where the level is zero. Well, anyway, turn this into into this function, and now we can imagine this function as being a surface, just like this being a surface. Well, this is a surface. This is a surface. So let's um, let's let's uh, find the gradient vector of both surfaces. So find the gradient vector of this. Uh, so partially differentiate this with respect to x that will then give us 2 and then partially differentiate this with respect to y that will then give us 1 so the gradient vector for this function is given by this the gradient vector for this function is given by this so um, so we've got our two gradient vectors so let me illustrate that on Desmos so jump to Desmos um, so, so the gradient vector for our constraint is given by this. So, as you move this around, it it would describe the um, it will show you the the gradient vector. And then, uh, if you look at the gradient vector for our level curves, it will it will then give you this. So, let's jump to a level of positive one. So, at a level of positive one, it will look like this. Let's jump to a level of zero. So, so, so this is a level of zero, and this is a level of negative one, and so on. So let's jump back to um, to our example. So we want to find the lowest point. The lowest point occurs when the gradient vector of f, when the gradient vector of f, differs uh, the gra the gradient of um, of g by a scalar amount so the the uh, the lowest point occurs when this equals some sort of scalar constant of this vector so in effect this translates to this so so um so that will then take us to here so we need to demand x uh, we need to demand x y and lambda in such a way that this equals this but it can differ by some sort of scalar amount so you demanding this to be true is the same as you demanding this and this to be true. So you need to satisfy these two. If you if you satisfy these two equations, you will automatically satisfy this thing here. Um, so so when you get to this stage here, your job is to find x, y, and lambda in such a way that these two will be true. Well, do whatever you have to do. Eliminate whatever you have to eliminate. But if you look at this. Um, you can clearly see that lambda must be one because look, two x and two x. So in this in this case, to satisfy this, lambda must equal one. Well, if lambda equals one, then uh, then uh, then this is one equals negative two y. So y equals y equals negative a half. So uh, so we, now we know lambda and we know y. So uh, now that we know lambda. And and we know why. Remember, no matter what, we have to live on this constraint. We have to live on this constraint. Well, we know lambda is one, and we know um, y must be negative a half. So we can put negative a half into here. So negative a half 
would be would be somewhere on this line here. You see, because we have to live on this constraint, we know that it must occur right here and right here because y must be negative a half. So we've got to find this location, this location. So, um, well, use this uh, to find those two locations. Well, those two locations occur when x equals positive this and negative this. So the lowest points will occur at these two locations. At these two locations. You see, at these two locations, these two gradient vectors will differ by uh, by an, a scalar amount. So let me illustrate that in Desmos. So at those two locations, hang on, at those two locations, here and here, if you, uh, if you look at this um, gradient vector here, and look at this gradient vector here, see they differ, well they, they are going, they are parallel to each other, they differ by an, a scalar amount. And then if you look at this location, and this location, they differ by an, a scalar amount, meaning they are parallel to each other. Okay?